Hi, my name is Mike Datto. I'm a pathologist from Duke University uh, Medical Center. And this is a uh, virtual slide from the School of Medicine, Duke School of Medicine virtual slide box uh, teaching set. And specifically, this is described as a testicular tumor or a testicular mass in, uh, in a young uh, male. Now, I find that it's often uh, uh, times useful to have a, a differential diagnosis in your head before uh, diving deep into the histology of any slide. So when uh, one says that it's testicular mass, this invokes a, a specific differential. There can be neoplastic testicular masses, and in that category we would have the, the subcategory of germ cell tumors. And within the category of germ cell tumors, we'd have entities like the seminoma, the spermatocytic seminoma, the embryonal carcinoma, the yolk sac tumor, the choriocarcinoma, the teratoma, and mixed germ cell tumors. The most common of these would be the seminoma. The seminoma also happens to have the best prognosis, but more on that uh, later. So we have germ cell uh, tumors, uh, and we have uh, the uh, uh, non-germ cell tumors, or tumors of uh, sex cord or gonadal stroma. Uh, these would include uh, Leydig cell tumors or Sertoli cell tumors, or Leydig cell tumors and Sertoli cell tumors. Uh, and then we would have uh, uh, entities uh, uh, that are not specific to uh, testes, for example, testicular uh, lymphoma. So in the neoplastic category of uh, testicular masses, uh, it's good to have a differential in your head before going uh, and taking a closer look. So now we'll take a closer look at this mass. We don't see any normal uh, testicular arch architecture. We're not seeing uh, 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 any, of the, any of the normal seminiferous uh, tubules. We're not seeing any normal um, uh, spermatocytic development. Uh, all of the normal testis architecture is replaced by these sheets of relatively uniform appearing cells. <coughs> Uh, they have uh, distinct nuclear borders, they have cleared out cytoplasm, they have uh, small uh, nucleoli, uh, and they're relatively uniform in appearance. There's not uh, too much uh, variation in size and shape. Uh, and again, uh, they have uh, cleared out cytoplasm and relatively distinct uh, nuclear or, or cellular borders. Uh, in addition, we have some admixed uh, small lymphocytes, uh, but not, uh, not many. So there's not much else to say about uh, the appearance of these cells, and, and this appearance is relatively uh, a classic appearance for a seminoma. Um, again, seminoma is the most common uh, testicular tumor. Uh, it um, Let's see. Uh, usually, uh, in the context of seminoma, we could see some degree of intertubular germ cell neoplasia that would be um, uh, uh, present. We don't see that in this slide anywhere. In these cases, it's important to uh, review the tumor uh, in its uh, entirety because there can be an admixture of different uh, patterns of growth, uh, and this changes the overall prognosis for these patients. So whether or not uh, something is a pure seminoma or a seminoma with admixed, for example, embryonal carcinoma makes a difference in the prognosis and potentially treatment uh, for the, the patients. Now, seminoma is a very treatable cancer. Uh, it has uh, approximately a 95% cure rate, uh, and that's largely because the tumor is very responsive to uh, both uh, radiotherapy and chemotherapy, and because most of these seminomas present in uh, stage one. Now, the staging for uh, testicular tumors uh, is um, Stage 1 tumors are confined to the testes, epididymis, or, or spermatic cord. Uh, stage 2 is distant spread uh, to ret retroperitoneal lymph nodes below the diaphragm. And stage 3 is metastasis outside the ret retroperitoneal lymph nodes or uh, above the diaphragm. Now, occasionally these can be uh, uh, more diagnostically challenging than this case here. Uh, again, this case is uh, classic histology for seminoma in that the cells are uh, sheets of uh, uniform appearing cells, 
distinct cellular borders, uh, small uh, nucleoli, an admixture of small lymphocytes, and um, uh, general maybe demarcation of the, of the cells into poorly formed uh, nodules or lobules. Um, but again, occasionally this can be a bit more of a diagnostic challenge, and in that case we might pull out some immunohistochemical stains. Uh, seminomas are uh, classically negative for alpha fetal protein, alpha fetal protein, and they uh, are uh, classically negative for uh, human uh, chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG. Uh, this HCG helps uh, distinguish it from the much more aggressive tumor, the embryonal uh, carcinoma, uh, which uh, uh, typically contain uh, HCG and uh, AFP, alpha fetoprotein. Uh, the tumors are positively, uh, positively standing for placental alkaline phosphatase, or uh, PLAP, um, and scattered cells might be cytokeratin positive. Um, so that's it for seminoma. This was a, a brief, uh, a brief description of a tumor with a classic histologic appearance, and uh, um, notable for the fact that it is a uh, uh, one of the more common tumors in uh, young males, uh, with uh, peak incidence in the 20s and 30s. Uh, that said, it is a rare tumor with only uh, in the range of let's say several thousand, maybe five to six thousand total testicular tumors uh, in the U.S. each year, with maybe a little bit under uh, uh, half being uh, seminomas. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this slide.